everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to Yorkshire Motor Homers. So it's uh, Monday morning and it's quite nice uh, weather-wise. It's quite quite autumnal, as I say. It's um, pleasanter than it's been the last couple of days. It's been a bit wet and yeah. miserable, and yeah. So we've um, we've not been able to get out this weekend because of one thing or another, and um, we so should we thought, have been up in in Bridlington, shouldn't we? At uh, we should, yeah. Southcliffe. Yeah, we should, yeah. We should have been up in Bridlington. So um, we decided today, because the weather's decent, nice and autumnal, uh, we'd have a ride out, and we're going over towards Huddersfield, uh, where Tracy's from. Very long time ago. Yeah. And we're, where are we going? Whereabouts are we going, Trace? We're going to uh, Crossland Moor. Crossland um, Moor. To Loudons. Loudons? Which? Caravans and motor uh, dealers. We'll see what, what they've got there. We're, we're not intending um, swapping no, no, the one no, we've got already. We're just going to have a look at some motor um, rooms. Um, and maybe get a couple of top up on a couple of things in the uh, in the shop in the shop um, you know chemical cleaning stuff and buy that um, when we next do go away um, and then we're going to have a ride out uh, towards Holmfirth yeah so uh, Holmfirth and Homebridge maybe go over the tops a little bit and up towards Home Moss yeah, with so some good we'll views show you around there. there. Uh, even though we're not in as motor home, uh, we didn't no. think about taking the motor home, but we thought we'd come out in the MG instead. Um, but we are sort of like kind of motor home themed. Um, going, we're going to the uh, Loudons. Um, we'll have a look around, see if we can do a review of a, a motor home, see what, see what we've got. Yeah, see if there's anything um, a bit different. I don't know what it'll be like actually because when we've been when we went down to Brown Hills a few weeks ago they had very little stock um, and we also called in at Ebar on the way back from the east coast two Cairn, or three weeks ago Cairn, yeah. oh yeah that was it we'd been to Caton Village and um, they also had very little stock um, down at Brown Hills when when you were chatting to the one of the guys you know down there he, he said that they've just they've, it's gone through the roof selling of motor homes this year and yeah when we were there um, early September before we went down to the Cotswolds um, one of the um, staff one of the team down at Brown Hills said that in August typically they sell about 25 motor homes and this all this August is all fifty, um, which depleted the stock. And um, they, they, they were really well known. Um, and it says the manufacturers can't keep up um, with the demand now. Um, so I mean, this was back in September. Um, it might quiet off again might, now. It might, change, might, might change it because it's since. getting back endish because not everybody um, not everybody motorhomes all year do they no so we'll, we'll see what they've got and if there's anything uh, worth looking at we'll have a look at and uh, we'll show you on the video so we'll uh, we'll catch up with you when we uh, when we get to Huddersfield see you soon all right here we are at Loudhams in Huddersfield oh, we're just gonna have a little nosy round See what we can find. So this is a uh, Bailey autograph. In the rear lounge. On a Fiat Ducato uh, chassis, it's manual, leather steering wheel, 
and four leather seats I think so you've got four seat belts in here which is quite handy yeah now you put a table in here you've got a lovely dinette area so is it a six berth then it's six seat belts i don't think so yeah you get probably get two people on here i'll have a look on the windscreen we'll go back out and there's a drop down yeah two Put people on there and a drop down and then probably the back one makes into another drop down there which i think is electronic yeah buttons here so, yeah the drop down buttons there Comfy seats. Yeah. You've got a good size work top. If you lift that, Tommy. Um, because your cooker, that's that, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. And you still got your glass top then. I don't know that. Yeah, yeah. Is it four rings? Um, it's, it's three gas rings and a hob. Yeah. It's a Thetford, it's like the one we have. Yeah. With a a grill and a oven. I like this. Um you know with this extra extra workspace. Hey Russell Hobbs microwave. Nice cupboards. I like this squash back. Yeah. Yeah, nice well, it's quite a, a nice uh, nice feature. Squash back. You've got two two thirty volt plugs there. Is that storage underneath that there? Or is it just It's your electric box? Oh, right. So you, you get your passenger seat only turns round on this one. Yeah. But this actually looks like they've got like the lumber rest in the back, yeah. haven't they? Yeah. Is there any storage under that yeah, one? Yeah, there is a quite a quite a good lumber rest. Is there any storage underneath that one? If you lift Oh that's it is a bed that. Yeah, that makes up for your bed, doesn't it? Mm. That's where your table will go. Yeah. Look at these drawer stress. Just a narrow one because it's under the sink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're all narrow actually. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I thought they'd be bigger. They look bigger. Yeah. But still a fair size, I think. Yeah, the cupboard there. And then you've got access to your. I think that's your grey waste, I'm not sure, I know it's your uh, fresh water. Yeah. So that makes it easy for cleaning your tank. Yeah, and the radiator, that's... All the heating. The new, the new ones do seem to be having them in coming. They do, yeah. I can't come any further because she no. won't come in. So your, your shower, oh this is a nice shower room, Trace. Is it? Yeah. I'll come and have a look when you yeah. can get Mel because she won't. It's a combined, it, it's, yeah, this nice is this. Your toilet, your shower. I just saw oh, you've got the, uh, the glass doors which will come across. I think. Yeah, they'll go across there. See more at shower. Nice uh, hand basin and plenty of storage. this side as we go towards the lounge 
with wardrobe with your table for the lounge your steps for the bed water tank for the older eating older eating and plenty of storage big storage area down there dual side opening fridge domestic fridge and a bit more storage above so you do have a privacy screen that comes across here yeah. on this channel so this blocks off here and quite a nice size lounge Good sized cupboards, aerial, yeah. They're yeah, nice cupboards. The only, the only thing about this one. There's not much of a garage to it. No, we haven't had to look outside here. There's got storage on the inside here. Down at the bottom. Right. So this will make up into a double bed. Yeah. Two TV points, one in the lounge, one in the dinette. And oh. which obviously you can watch from the bedroom. Yeah, nice interior. So I'll have a look around with Melly around the outside. So you've got your LPG storage there. Alloy wheels, I think those are 16 inch. It's on a it's a Peugeot. Not a Fiat. really attractive from the back nice LED lights smallish lockers on the outside not, not, not got masses of space water inlet the power So it's a fairly new autograph, 81, 6, 2021 model, 6 berths, 6 seat belts. It's a Peugeot on a Peugeot 2 litre, 160 brake horsepower. Features cab, air conditioning, cruise control, driver and passenger airbag, airbags, panoramic roof light, LED lighting, Aldi heating, cab blinds awning, large fridge freezer. It's 8.12 metres in length, 2.49 metres wide, 2.83. Uh, chassis is uh, 4.25 kilograms, a payload of 850 kilograms, so a fair payload. Water capacity is 93.5 litres, and the same for your waste, coming in at 65,000 pounds. <laughs>